Okay guys, um, this is what we are going to do today. I'm going to tease uh, the minds of those that has the theory of the classic physics very well defined. And don't want to give a little open mind here. Now, this is a fiberglass core that I have designed. It's a hollow core, as you can see there. And I'll show you pictures when I was building it. And it's a hollow. And it measures exactly one ohm. It's a wound with a 18 gauge. And it's got a few turns only as you can see. But it displays a uh, and it, it doesn't have any steel anywhere. I mean this is aluminum, fiberglass and copper. So there's no magnetic friction here. So what I'm going to do here is insert one of my designs and this one is the one that I presented based on uh, the ancient sacred geometry. This is the, the two triangles. And I added some resistors at the end um, just to gain a little bit more voltage at it. This is the, the output shaft here. I had to adapt this just to make it run for you. And as you can see, I have uh, spread open a little bit the contacts. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there properly. But I have filed them so you could, so they don't do a lot of sparking in there. Because these, these, these motors are very powerful, they got a lot of uh, torque. And, well, I'm going to open up back when it's running. Okay guys, uh, this is what I'm doing here. This is my uh, end channel. My same uh, LiPo, 36 volts. And I got two meters right there. One is going to be hooked up to motor output. And I got the same motor, I got all, all, all running. This is not a bad half uh, design, it's a little bit clumsy because it's loose here, I gotta make it tight. But you know, it's just to show you the purpose of this video, is to show you that not having is the same fiberglass uh, core wound in here, there's nothing here, no batteries, no inverters here, nothing, it's just the plain piece of, you can see the table there, and uh, this is the, I'm going to be lighting up those five CFLs just out of the coil induction through the two diodes, it's the same thing I've been showing in my first thread, and uh, I'm getting the diodes uh, out of it, I'm getting it there, well, the guys can explain you about it, and I'm pulsing the coil parallel with also this this side of the of the armature so on the other side of the armature I'm reading this meter first meter voltage and the second one is going to be measuring just the coil I'm not even doing the jumper between the rear ends I'm just going to be measuring voltage but mainly the purpose here is to show you this coil while it turns this motor no steel in there at all, zero, nothing, except the armature of course, but I'm saying stator. This is aluminum, a stainless steel bolts, and fiberglass. Okay, it's going to be brighting those lamps off by pulsing stator and armature at the same time. And you see the speed it gets, I can, uh, on, on the measurement on the output. Basically, this meter, the second one is just going to measure a halfway output of this motor, which is not the purpose here. I don't want to show you the armature, you, you guys are working on that. This is just to see, and uh, these meters are nothing in the back, it's just the cables that attach them here, and these are the lamps, nothing here either, and this is just the cables to run it. Now, let me see if I can get it closer so you can uh, get a, a hook of everything here. That's one unit. Hey, I don't want to see that anything got disconnected here. Here, 
Um, okay. Now this meter will be reading measurement and this one is disconnected and I don't have much time on the video. Uh, so that'll do it. Let me turn this on again. Okay. So we're gonna turn this thing on. And I don't know if you noticed, but they gave the first flash the same as when we turned the coil on. And I got the batteries on. And you see the reading on that meter is to 263 millivolts. Nothing to it. And I'm going to start pulsing it. And you see the voltage there. I don't know if the light can get it but we're going and I'm getting juices out of the coil I'm getting 89 volts plus whatever I'm reading here and here are my you see uh, commutators coming there 